Hello everybody, it's me, Lumi and Finstra, and like me and Michelle were talking about in her channel really briefly today. I'm going to uh, give some of my own input into um, the government shutdown thing. And um, I'm not really much into the polit political things because it kind of, you know, it confuses me a lot too. Because it's like these people keep talking about continuing resolutions and debt ceilings and things like that. Michelle has explained something to me about the bonds and treasury bills. I, I don't think it's... Oh, I'm so tired. It's just, it's just, it's just listening to it just makes me yawn. Let's, let's look at this from um, like Michelle said earlier with her little skit. Okay, let's talk about this from... Um, what I think. Mother God has told every single person in their own ways that Mother and Father God love you deeply and that every single person who truly believes in Mother and Father God should not worry about things like this because they will all be provided for there might be trials and tribulations. The book of Revelations for you Christians talks about this over and over again. It explains how these things must come to pass. So for, for that reason, I'm going to just say right now is if you truly have faith in Almighty Mother and Father God, you will be fine. It's those who have, who have no faith in the mother and divine mother and father God who are going to be ones who are going to be scrambling praying to the almighty golden cow calf calf <laughs> um because they are the ones who are who have made money their God and in doing so they have turned their lives Now, we got to focus on the things that we need every day. But Mother and Father God have always provided you with the ability to do what you need to do. If you would just allow them to work for you. They may not always offer right out front a big textbook solution. You know what I'm saying? Mother and Father God rarely come knocking on your door going, Hey guys, we have a job. Here we go. Have fun. I think as you work that way, but Mother and Father God, through their, your spirit guide, will provide you a little bit of inspiration, which if you look into what the inspiration is, you may be pretty good. Too many people forget that there is a great war going on right now between the forces of good and the forces of evil. Okay, the forces of good, which includes Mother God, Father God, Jesus, which is Father God's Son, your spirit guide, the angels, the archangels, all these people are working to strive to, strive to keep us safe from the dark forces. Okay, in Christianity we talk about the demons, the devil, the... Sometimes known as the Satan. The, um, but the average everyday person doesn't realize that there's a there's something going on on the globalist level, which is where Satan is working through. Because remember, but the Satan said to Jesus, and when he was in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights, he said, Look, I'll give you all of these pointing to the kingdoms of the world if you would just bow down and follow me. And Jesus said, I will not do that. Because this stuff is fleeting and it's only temporary. I am going to follow the one that is ever true and everlasting, which is Almighty Father God and Mother God. You should be too. Now, me and Michelle don't actively work on trying to preach to fire and brimstone because we think that that's one of the reasons why a lot of people have given up on the good side 
is that too many people think that they're not good enough for Mother and Father God. Let me assure you, every single person in this world, except for dark souls, and even them too, but their situation is a little different, are definitely worthy to see the kingdom of Mother and Father God. And all you have to do is just do your best. That's all that's ever required. Mother God and Father God never said to you, you cannot eat meat on Fridays. You, you must make sure to go to church every Sunday. And when you go out in the woods to take a poop, make sure to bury your shit about 100 feet away from, you, from the nearest water source. That was never said. Well, actually, that last one was said by Father God to the people of Israel the Hebrews because there was no modern sewage treatment systems like we have today. So yeah, that was a problem then. It still is today if you have an outhouse. You gotta make sure uh, depending on the local codes, you might need to keep your outhouse anywhere from 50 to 100 feet away from any of your drinking water like your well. Um, that's to avoid contagion. Um, but that's not something most everybody can think about. So. The Mosaic Law indeed does still have importance, but Father and Mother God understand if you cannot comply with all the 691 of the commandments in the Bible that no one's going to sit to hold it against you. A lot of people, because of the love of Mother and Father God, will always be sure a chance to come home because their faith is... This is the most important thing. Your faith... One man said to Michelle, he said, um, all you're going by is faith. But sometimes in this day and age, faith is all you got. So you keep focusing on your faith because that's everything. If you don't have faith, it doesn't matter how many facts you got. You start to feel like nothing is uh, truly possible. That is what the whole business of faith is about. It's learning to believe in yourself and believing in Mother and Father God and who they are and what they mean to you and that they love you and that every single person is entitled to life with Mother and Father God. True happiness with Mother and Father God and true liberty and free will, then you will have those things when you go home. And don't forget, please leave me comments. I have been, I know my channel doesn't get a lot of viewers. I want to change that, but I need to know what I'm doing wrong. See, please help me out here, okay? Just leave a comment in the section below, okay? Or you can reach us at uh, my email address and leave me comments. It's easy. It's L U M I F I N I S T R A at gmail.com. Okay? And you can, in that way, you can always, if you want to send something private, that's the way to do it. Okay? Have a nice day, everybody. And keep Mother and Father God in your heart, especially in these tough times. Bye-bye.